All right, so this is a good place to show it. So on the left-hand side, we have taken all nine of our tonalities. This is our checklist of tonalities. And we have um, put them in a ginormous vertical column. And they have been sorted into spelling order, the C, the D, the E flat, the E, and so forth and so on. And then just for grins, what we we went in and we I, we separated them based on interval pairs. So the two C two ones, the C two twos, the C two threes, the C two fours, and so on and so on and so on. And then we noticed that some of these chords, and we found, and the point of this was we found what we call crossover chords. So for example, C two one can be a tonic chord, and it can be in in two three three two and it can be a tonic chord in c minor uh, c two three can be a tonic chord in c two three a tonic chord in two five and a subdominant in c minor c major and so when we looked through all this um, we found many 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 places where the same chord like e flat five one is in two or more uh, places sometimes we found as many as four and these are in F42, can be found in four different tonalities and so on. I think we found a five somewhere. Yeah, there's a five. That, that's got same chord occurs in five different tonalities. In this one, it's always a dominant, which is very interesting. So that was kind of cool. Then the other thing we said, I wonder, what about these chords that are standalone? So we ended up defining two kinds of chords. We said there are... There are crossover chords, a chord found in two or more tonalities. Let's give that a nice little highlight. And there are standalone chords, a chord found only once. And by definition, that's also in a tonality, one tonality. You found it once, it's going to be in whatever tonality we found it in. So he said, wouldn't it be interesting to compose something using only standalone chords? And so we did a, we went and copied and pasted all the pink ones over here. Then we got slightly sidetracked because blah, 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 blah. Then we cleaned up the list and we said, guess what? We have 43, 43, 43 standalone chords. And then we said, well, how many different scales is that? And it turns out that all 43 chords over here, the same 43, uh, can occur in C minor major, C2442, and C2332, and then a few sprinkling over here. So now we have, as we like to say, our work cut out for us. An idea for next time, wouldn't it be cool to, to compose something using these three columns? And that really fits because in a previous stream, we had identified a tripartite theme, a three-part theme, and that theme was uh, home, office, and road. Home, office, and road right here. So that concludes today's stream. It was quite a lot of uh, spreadsheet work. Um, our next steps will be going into the actual scores and pulling possibly these chords and putting them into a score and then starting to shuffle them around and sort them. Um, we also began to do a little bit of work on the 2 to 6 2 scale here and we're thinking of doing some note function extraction and sorts on here and do a composition just entirely in this scale alone. So those are two ideas that we have. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.